I'm Marta and I'm Becky and we're from Corks and Screw Caps and today we're going to show you two Cabernet Sauvignons, one from Bordeaux and the other from California, Napa Valley. <laughs> going to illustrate the difference in flavor and aroma between the two regions of the world that are most famous for their Napa, for their Cabernet Sauvignon. Mm -hmm. The first one we're going to do is Joseph Phelps. Joseph Phelps is a Napa Valley Cabernet. Uh, this is um, 2018. By the way, both of these are 2018, which is perfect for a comparison of the regions in the world, even though the vintages are different. They were both good vintages. And by the way, people, at this level, these are 70 and 85 dollars bottles of wine. At this level, vintage variation is important. So we want to pay attention to the, uh, the quality of the vintage. These were both very good vintages in the 90s. And um, these wines should, should do very well in terms of age worthiness. What we have here is we both have these two big, beautiful, wide, tulip-shaped wine glasses. We want to aerate this wine and at this quality level, <clears throat> excuse me, we want really nice, beautiful, um, crystal if you can, wine glasses. Um, this will enable you to swirl as much as you need to. These are two wines that should and could be decanted, um, but from mm -hmm. this we're going to move on, right? We're going to yep. take a look at the color and go from there. This is a ruby red. These are both considered young wines. This is a ruby red color. It's opaque and that indicates to us that it is not filtered. This is a plus that it's not filtered. Um, this means that there are more particles, small, minute, almost microscopic particles from the wine, from the grapes that enable this to age more, age better, develop more flavor. This is a plus, okay? So the next thing we're gonna do is bouquet. What you'll find in classic California, Napa Valley Cabernet is also the aroma of cassis, which is what we have here, mm -hmm. yes, AKA we black currants, right? Black, black currants. currants. Okay, same thing. <laughs> so we have pretty prominent aromas of black currants. It's not a sweet, oaky aroma though, right, Becky? No. It's a little more restrained, far more restrained actually than lesser expensive and different styles of Cabernet Sauvignon. Joseph mm -hmm. Phelps is an excellent producer. Um, we've also got, I'm going to say, some medium aromas of uh, vanilla and licorice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah vanilla yeah. and licorice. The vanilla uh, aroma is developed by the, the oak, the oak aging, the oak barrels, right? That's where we're getting the, the aroma of vanilla from. So, like you said, it is still restrained. Yes. It's kind of like somebody on a first date. They don't want to show everything, so there's a little more <laughs> developing to go uh, into this relationship. Right. They're a little bit shy, a little bit a hold, little shy, holding back. Mm -hmm. Okay, so think of this as the first date, a, a wine that kind of holds back a little bit. But that doesn't mean that it's not alive and vibrant and won't no. really become something fabulous. So, so this is actually a wine that you can drink now or you can hold. But anyway, let's go on to the palate. I was going to say. <laughs> Can't wait to taste this. Mm. Wow. Okay. So I have here mm. really, I'm going to say these are good, good tannins. These are nice, strong tannins. We also have mm. a flavor that lingers quite a while. Yes. And the flavor is, is relatively intense cassis. But a ripe cassis, not that overripe flavor that you might get from other Napa Valley California wines. Um, it's not super sweet. It's, no, it's not, not jammy sweet at all. At all. Um, it's very pleasant, and I think all in all, it's a very well balanced wine. Mm -hmm. uh, medium acidity. The, tan the tannins are pretty intense, though. This is not an easy drinking wine. Um, I do get a little bit of tobacco in yes, this as yeah, well. Yeah, I could get that too. Mm -hmm. And the flavor lingers in your mouth a long time. That is the length, and that is one of the very important quality parameters that is always taken into consideration when you're making a, an evaluation of the wine quality. 
How long does the flavor linger, linger in your mouth? This is crucial because if you have a great tasting wine and uh, the flavor of the wine is immediately dissipated as soon as you swallow it, that's a real negative. However, this really lasts. Joseph yeah. Phelps is a great producer. Um, Becky and I gave this a 9.3 rating out of a 10. That's fabulous. So uh, again, drink now or hold. Uh, it's tasty now, but if you want to hold it, this wine can age a while. I'm going to say, um, give it, give it at least five, five to ten years. This could be fine. I'd okay. love to taste this again in five to ten years. Yeah, well, mm -hmm. it's not going to be here in five to ten years. We're taking care of it right now. <laughs> Okay, on to the next wine. This will be a Bordeaux. Okay. And that is the left bank of Bordeaux, Correct. like you had said before, because the left bank actually grows more Cabernet Sauvignon. Right. In fact, on the right bank, we have this big body of water going through southern France called the Gironde Estuary. Mm. The right bank of this estuary does not use any Cabernet Sauvignon. So we are concentrating on the left bank these wines are more structured, meaning more tannic, more acidic. These are, are, are more gripping, more big boy, powerful wines. <laughs> These wines are like kickboxing, okay? Okay, okay don't knock over the yes, glass, though. Okay, that's what these <laughs> wines are like. So we're dealing again, though, with mostly Cabernet Sauvignon in the blend or the assemblage, otherwise it's basically a recipe. Um, Mostly Cabernet Sauvignon, probably a little Merlot, and also a little Petit Verdot, maybe Cabernet mm -hmm. Franc, okay? So we're comparing both of these. However, this wine, as I swirl it in the glass, the appearance is a little bit ruby red, but more a hint of garnet. And this has actually been filtered. And I can tell because I can see my finger in yep. the glass, under the glass, when I do this, okay? This does not mean it's a low quality wine just a different approach. This particular producer, Celan Sigur, is an excellent producer. This wine is a classic and this will age well. Mm. Just a different style. Let's go on to the nose. Wow, very <sighs> restrained. You can almost mm. smell nothing. This does not mean it's not a great wine. There's a little bit of cassis in this, right? A little, a little bit of classic cassis. Um, a little bit of maybe like, I think you said cherry blossoms and I agree, and also a hint of caramel. We're talking hints, people. Mm -hmm. We're not talking in your face. We're not talking smack you upside with aromas, all right? We're not talking like the caramel cappuccino that you would get at a coffee shop. Yeah. Not that kind of caramel. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go to the palate. Okay. Hmm. Whoa! Mm. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> this is what you expect from a 2018, oh my God, I can hardly move my lips. <laughs> this is what you would expect from a young Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, yeah. On the left bank, <laughs> okay, the tannins are extremely intense. They are there and they are going to smack you in the face the first thing. We've also got some cassis here. Yes. Okay. Um, but it's fresh fruit. Fresh fruit meaning it doesn't taste super ripe. There's plenty of acidity here. Mm -hmm. By the way, these are both medium medium body. This is medium full body. So is, so is that one. These are not these are not intensely heavy full bodied wines. Um, but what we're getting here is barely a hint of oak. Barely. But the tannins on this, because it's so restrained. Yes. It just really right. kind of leaves your teeth a little choppy. A little chocolate? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, okay. They're restrained. This is classic. This is classic. This is what to expect because this wine is very young. Expect very little fruit that's noticeable if you're accustomed to drinking California wines. Very little fruit. Expect a lot of tannins. Expect more acidity. Expect mm -hmm. that it's going to be in your opinion, if you're new to this, expect that it's gonna be a little austere and a little harsh. Mm -hmm. That's because yeah. Bordeaux, this level of Bordeaux is meant to age. It's too young to drink. However, it will develop into something fantastic and I won't go into the reasons, it would be too lengthy, but this is going to develop. Um, we need to sit on this for a while. It's got, it's got long length. Mm. It's got, yes, it does. Even though the it's flavor beautiful. is slight, it's there but it lingers. It lingers. 
that's what we want. Right? Yes. Lingering. And I can't wait to be able to taste one of these uh, in five to 10 years when they are actually at their prime. That would be a fantastic time capsule. <laughs> really? Yes. But this bottle's gonna be gone. <laughs> I think it's gonna be gone. I mean, it is very nice right now to drink. It is reserved, it is restrained, but it's beautiful at the same time. If you go to a restaurant and you order a wine or you purchase a wine that is a Bordeaux, a left bank Bordeaux, you must expect that it's going to be completely different. These are wines to age. This is like making a stew and putting all the ingredients in and cooking it in the microwave for five minutes. <laughs> it's not it, gonna be it's done. It's not gonna be the same. <laughs> versus the stew that you've cooked for however long. You're three hours. Stress. Three hours yeah, on a low okay. simmer on you your stove. You can't expect the same thing. However, if you're going to drink this Felon Sevor 2018 right now, you should drink it with something like a brisket. Oh, that would be fantastic. Yeah. That. Um, brisket a, with mashed potatoes, some gravy. Yeah. Or blue cheese. Oh, blue cheese. Yeah. There's that's... nothing else that's going to stand up to this wine. This wine is going to drown out anything that you put with it. I think that's enough said, don't you? I These think are so. two completely different styles. Joseph Phelps, ready to drink now but can age, um, has some nice flavor, nice aromas, um, not excessively tannic, versus the Bordeaux, which is very tannic, high in acidity very little fruit, very a little aroma, um, and that's the way it's supposed to be, mm -hmm. right? So let's say Fonte, two hours.